I'm back and I've kind of changed positions now I'm a little bit more even with him maybe I can turn this somewhat um, you can see the beautiful uh, coloration on the hind wing of this animal you can see the blues and oranges um, and it's a better look at the, uh, the little spikes on it that make it a swallowtail. It's just so pretty and he's being nice and still. He was really fluttering here a little bit when you when you stimulate the cage he kind of he kind of goes crazy. But uh, let's see if I can get that zipper out of the way. And here, oh yeah, here's a better, here's kind of a better view. Better view from An angle where you can really see the, um, you know, the outer part and the body too. You can notice those um, beautiful dots on the actual body or the abdomen of the butterfly. It's so pretty. It's a good view of the antennae as well. Uh, butterfly antennas have clubs on them, meaning they're skinny and then they thicken at the end. And their, you know, sensory organs. They will. This male will use his antennae to uh, to uh, detect pheromones that are that are sent out by the females who are ready to mate. And uh, so he'll help. He'll use those to find himself another butterfly. It's really pretty. I'm going to turn the cage again and see if I can get maybe a little bit better again view of the or clearer picture of the of the other side with the more colorful side and the hind wing side. Isn't that something? And it's just so neat because they're so new. They're just really clear and fresh and, you know, very distinctively marked as they live outside, you know, they brush up against things and the scales fall off of the wings or things try to chew them and bite them. They look like a tasty morsel and so a bird might, you know, take a bite out of the wing or whatever, but everything is all intact here and it's just gorgeous. So that's it from here. Um, we're just delighted. I take so much, it's just such a joyful occasion to have this. <laughs> To have this happen, oh, it's just so pretty. Oh, you can see he's moving his legs a little bit. Here we go, climbing a little bit. Climbing right near the door, saying, let me out of here. It won't be much longer now, we're, as I say, we're going to, it's about 4.30 right now on May 27th, and we're gonna let him out by dinner time for sure. And he looks pretty strong and active and healthy, and that is just awesome. just sit here and watch it all day. It's just very lovely. You know, it's not often you get a really good view of this. It's, butterflies, I think, are really hard to see when they're, <laughs> when they're not caged. But a really good place to go see them is the Butterfly House at Barson's in Westland. They're at the, the corner of, or they're on Merriman between Ford and Warren. And uh, starting in the first week of June, um, the uh, butterfly Brenda's Butterfly House will be open, and uh, we were there last night, not in the Butterfly House, but just the, just doing a little shopping at the nursery, and uh, they were putting up the sign, and we did see butterflies inside the Butterfly House, so it's very exciting. That's a wonderful place to go. You see a lot, you see probably 10 or 12 different species of butterflies that are found in Michigan, in this area, 
as well as their host plants and the plants that they like to use to uh, to eat from. So it's a great place to go. All right. Take care, everyone.